Rockingham City Council holds March meeting, Cordova Fire and Rescue Response to Church Fire, and the John Searcy Memorial Golf Tournament be held April 21st. That and more are coming all your are all coming your way on your Thursday edition of Live at 5. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Good evening. Welcome to your Thursday edition of Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College. I'm Kelsey Rushing. Registration for summer classes have begun. You can register by going to richmondcc.edu or by calling 910-410-1700. Let's get right to it. Now for tonight's top stories. Earlier today, there was an active crime scene in West Rockham. The Richmond Reserve's Kenny Melvin has more. Uh, we're not sure what happened yet. We haven't had her word from the chief yet, but Rockingham Police Department uh, I was at the corner of West Franklin and Gore Street uh, at the uh, West Side Housing Complex. Uh, the officers appear to be looking for something in the front yard of an area that's taped off. There's a large presence of uh, both marked and unmarked Rockingham Police Department vehicles and uh, three ambulances from First Health have already departed. The monthly Rockingham City Council meeting was held Tuesday evening at Rockingham City Hall. After invocation by Reverend Brian Barry, pastor of PD and Zion United Methodist Church, the meeting commenced with Planning Director, Assistant City Manager John Massey discussing the city's land use plan. The land use plan is a compressive 10-year plan that shapes decisions made with city-owned property and land. The council reviewed the progress that has been made so far in the first five years of the 10-year plan. Massey and four council members that 22 of the 32 objectives outlined in the land use plan have reached completion or have experienced significant progress. Next on agenda was a presentation of the Rockingham's Police Department's annual report for 2017, given by Police Chief Billy Kelly. Including this report were the crime statistics for 2017, as well as some advancements the department has made over the past year. Chief Kelly began with the number of calls responded to by the Rockingham Police Department, which was less than 15,000 in 2017, compared to a little over 17,000 in 2016. Kelly broke this number down into more detail for the council so the members could get a better understanding of concerns to which department responds the most. These issues included public assistance, felony, and misdemeanor arrests, and traffic enforcement. For the full rundown of the meeting, visit richmondobserver.com. Firefighters got the call of a single-story building on fire Wednesday morning around 8 a.m. The structure was located at 572 Midway Road. A neighbor reported seeing the smoke and notified the fire department. On arrival, firefighters found smoke and flames exiting the structure. After making entrance, the fire was located and quickly extinguished. Heavy smoke had been alleviated before firefighters could enter the structure and check for hotspots. Once an evaluation was conducted, a fire was marked under control at around 9 a.m. No one was at home at the time of the fire, and the cause of the fire has not yet been determined. John Searcy served over 25 years in the criminal justice field, all here in Richmond County. He was a policeman for 10 years and then was appointed as a magistrate with the administrative office of the court system. He served in that capacity for 15 years prior to his sudden death on October 2, 2014. In April 2015, Sandy Searcy established the John Searcy Memorial Scholarship Program in memory of her late husband. The program rewards scholarships to students who have elected to attend Richmond Community College and pursue a degree in criminal justice. Since its onset on 20, in 2015, Cersei stated there had been seven scholarships awarded since the inception. The scholarship committee sponsors a golf tournament to, sponsor, to support the scholarship cause. Cersei said they are preparing for the fourth annual tournament that we held on Saturday, April 22nd at Scotch Meadows Country Club in Larnberg. Registration and breakfast will begin at 8 a.m. and tea time is scheduled for 9 a.m. Lunch will be provided at 1 p.m. and the tournament will be accepting donations for golf hole sponsors, which are $50, as well as donations for prizes and silent auction items. Space is limited to the first 22 teams. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Richmond Community College opens registration for summer classes and an update on the Highway 220 exit involving a logging truck. That's coming up next after a word from our sponsors. Rockingham Farm Supply, at the corner of Highway 220 and Green Street in Rockingham, will have their annual Customer Appreciation Day, March 23rd and 24th. Some great food and great company. Come on down. Check out the Bobcats. They are an authorized dealer for Bobcat zero-turn mowers. They have seed, chicks, chain, key making, a little bit of everything that you could use for your farm or your home. So come on down, enjoy some food, some fellowship, and just maybe you might get to meet Matthew and Mark. Maybe they'll give you a ride on one of the Bobcat zero-turns. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection. 
friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Family Pharmacy is a local pharmacy that's been in business in Rockingham for over 10 years. Located in the Food Lion Shopping Center on US 1 North, we have easy access into the store and a drive through for your convenience as well. You can download the official Family Pharmacy app at MyFamilyPharmacy.com and we'll help you set it up to text you when your prescription is ready and you can even set it up to fill your prescriptions when due. Our motto is we'll treat you like family and it's something we truly mean. We take the same care in filling your prescription that we would take for our own family. Family Pharmacy, we'll treat you like family. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. Welcome back to Live 5, Richmond County's nightly news, brought to you by Richmond Community College. There's good news for people taking summer classes this year. For the first time, students will be eligible for financial aid for their summer classes through Year Round Pale. Year Round Pale allows students to receive up to 150% of a regular grant award over the course of the academic year, so they continue taking classes in the summer and finish their degree faster than they would have otherwise. With careful planning, Pell Grant re recipients may take advantage of this new regulation to earn their degree faster. University students coming home for the summer can get ahead on their college credits by taking classes this summer at Richmond Community College. Summer classes include many transferable general education courses, which means these students can take challenging science, math, literature, history, and government classes in a smaller college setting with more individualized attention. General education credits earned at Richmond Community College are transferred to their home, university, and count towards their bachelor's degree. Summer registration is open to new and current students. You can apply online at richmondcc.edu or call 910-410-1700 for more information. The fiery crash on Highway 220 North that claimed the life of a trucker last Thursday afternoon has been investigated and the driver identified. On Thursday, March 8th at around 3 p.m., an empty logging truck left the highway and, after colliding with two trees, burst into flames. According to authorities at the scene, Larry Stephen Noel, 70, of Cander, may have had a medical issue that precipitated the accident. His truck and empty logging trailer veered from the highway, struck a tree, and burst into flames, but there is no evidence that there was ever any application of the brakes at any point. The accident happened on Highway 220 North at just beyond the Sneed Avenue intersection. The northbound lanes of the highway were shut down for over two, three hours. A spokesman with the North Side Fire Department said that the precise cause of death had not yet been determined at this time and was pending the completion of the investigation by the North Carolina Highway Patrol and the medical examiner. All right, folks, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we've got your sports wrap-up, including Raider tennis, and we'll catch you up on what's happening on the soccer field. Stay tuned. You guys just outdo yourselves every day. And I really appreciate it. I honest to God don't know what I would do if it weren't for you. The things that you do, I'm in approval of. And thank you. I, 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 I don't know what else to say other than thank you. 
Exit Realty Platinum in Rockingham has listed one of the most beautiful homes in Richmond County. Located in Rockingham on Ledbetter Lake, the home features four bedrooms with bamboo floors and a kitchen featuring stainless steel appliances and granite countertops, and a master bedroom that overlooks Ledbetter Lake, along with a spacious tile shower and the attached master bathroom. The open living space leads to the back deck with a perfect view of Ledbetter Lake, and the property features its own boat dock. Want to see this beautiful home? Call Nicole Hayden with Exit Realty Platinum, your source for homes in Richmond and Moore counties. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high skill, high paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. Welcome back to Live 5, brought to you by Richmond Community College, now for your top sports story. In a season that boys tennis coach Pat Hope knew would be tough to start, the Raiders finally notched a W in the win column over Hope County High School on Wednesday. Richmond was able to dominate the Bucks overall, winning 9-0, and despite the fact that Hope County had to forfeit a single and doubles match due to a lack of players, the Raiders still took care of business in the other seven matchups. Number one singles player Austin Harrington had a fight on his hands early on in the afternoon, but was victorious winning 4 to 6, 6 to 1 and 10 to 8, followed by number 2 player Jimmy Coolay beating his Bucks opponent 6 to 1 and 6 to 0 in straight sets. The Raiders will look to start a two-game San Jose Athletic Conference winning streak when they host Lumberton High School today. With the if the pregame presentation was any incl inclination of how the Lady Raiders soccer team would play Wednesday night, it's safe to say they rocked the Hope County High School Lady Bucks by scoring their most goals in a game this season. Before the 6-1 Sand Hills Athletic Conference win for Richmond, head coach Benny Howard, who is in his 24th and final year in the helm of Lady Raiders program, was honored by Hope County with a porch rocker emblazoned with the Richmond Diamond. But those were the only pleasantries exchanged as the two teams battled high wins in a tough physical matchup. It was a Richmond-dominated game as the Lady Raiders maintained possession deep in Hope's defensive territory for majority of the game. Both teams are back in SAC action Friday as the heads of Jack Burt High School. The Lady Buccaneers beat Purnell Sweat High School 1-0 in overtime Wednesday, and Junior Varsity will get things started at 7.30 p.m., followed by Varsity at 7 p.m. And that's going to do it for sports. Now we're going to play one ad, just one, before we go over to the five-day forecast, so just don't go anywhere. You're watching Live at 5. Welcome back to Live 5. Today's 5 day weather forecast is brought to you by HCI Water, Fire and Water Restoration. So jumping straight into the weather forecast with Friday with the cloudy with a 0% chance of rain with a high of 70 and a low of 43. So it's going to be fairly warm that day during the day. So if you have anything planned, you want to go outside, go to a park or something, you're good to go. And then Saturday we have the 50% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 69 and a low of 49. So keep that in mind because it will be kind of scary for your dogs. I know it will. So moving on to Sunday, of course, with a 10% chance of rain, cloudy with a high of 61 and low of 44. And Monday, we have a 60% 60 60 chance of rain with a high of 56 and a low of 56. So it's going to be in the 50s pretty much all day Monday, but it's not going to get much, much colder than that, so you're good to go in the evening. And then Tuesday, we have a 20% chance of rain with a high of 65 and a low of 42. And of course, the pollen outlook is going to be very high on Friday, which is tomorrow, of course. So keep that in mind if you plan on going outside. It is going to be uh, in the 70s, but it's still going to be a lot of pollen. So if you have allergies, maybe you'll stay inside. Who knows? Maybe you'll just bring your medicine. And then Saturday will be high 
in the pollen outlook for that day. And of course, that's going to do it for Live 5. Don't go anywhere just yet, though. We just we still got the RO Sports Show coming up at 5.30. Ross regulars Matt, Russell, and Jeremy will be breaking down March Madness and the NFL free agency, plus a whole lot more. So stay tuned to the RO Sports Show on the Classic Rock Radio, Facebook, YouTube, and RichmondObserver.com. That is it for us at Live 5. Good night, Richmond County.